Steeple chase. Steeple chase. Everyone is just saying steeple chase, but where is it? Thank God they speed ran some of the other quote unquote boring events, right? Like last time that we did the tournament arc, right? The seven stars or something. There was a lot of events that a lot of people don't really care about, but holy shit, every time it's like, woo, surfboard. Woo, a pillar break. Woo, fucking flying, floating up. But they did a fantastic job of kind of like, kind of like a montage scene and showing all the feats of our girls just winning so that we can kind of focus on the main meat of this stuff. So some of the big things that happened last episode, Miyuki's selfish sister scene, that was peak. I think that was one of the best Mohoka scenes, if not one of the best moments of the season so far. Aside from the fight scenes, Miyuki is like with the background music playing and like Miyuki like asking Onisama to like not care about other people. Was that an order? Because, like, Onisama is technically Miyuki's, like, bodyguard. But there is some kind of, like, commands that Miyuki can give, can give to Tatsuya. And he can't deny it, right? So, when Onisama was told to ignore the other hoes and just look at me, was that, like, an order? Or, like, something he could not defy? I'm not really sure. And then another thing is, even though uh, we can destroy the parasites, remember, the souls can just, like, leave and latch onto a different host. That's a thing that we didn't really think about, and there's a lot of able-bodied people in the tournament that the parasites can go to that as well, right? I'm surprised that no one really thought about that. I'm surprised that I forgot about that, but that's probably because everyone kind of forgot about that season two stuff. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. 11th day already. Steeple? Steeple chase? It's like a marathon. Oh, only someone's new drip. He got that new suit. Gixi. So Onisama will go around taking out the parasites while everyone can do a safe marathon? Damn! Damn, bro! Okay! Alright, look at him, bro! Okay, okay, okay! And the last time we saw him in a suit like this was back in like season 1 at the end, right? When the military gave him all the fucking gear, but okay. Also, yeah, why is the steeple team just for girls right now? Itami's HQ. Onisama, mobile suit. Saiki is the girl with gray hair and the glasses that's a, that's a friend of Aunt Mia? Basically, let Onisama kind of do his thing. Oh, they're basically saying, hey guys, we recognize this person, you know? So like, don't hurt him. Try to go easy on him. Pfft. They got no fucking clue who's in this suit. <laughs> Take him out! <laughs> Genos? G One Punch Man? Genos? Is that you? You get breast implants? Wait a minute, it actually got hit on us. <laughs> the hand placement. Miyuki would be mad. Regrowth. <laughs> okay, what the fuck was that landing? What what in the fuck? That's a creepy ass fucking landing, bro. And then what? Sure! Sure! Damn, that looks that suit. Oh, that's uh, Jonas got some curves. That was all a hint. I didn't even know. So I thought Onisama was just eavesdropping just to see what they're saying. But the ninja dude was also kind of unaware of what he was doing and then gave him tips like that on how to do this. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Bro just hit him with like regrow two times and it fucking works. So the idea is like fucking copy, seal, seal, and then it's like it's in hibernation now. Regrowth is like the key component of this. So the uh, the body, Genos' body right now has the soul, like the parasite still in it, right? Intact. Because if we were 
if we were to destroy the outer structure, then then the parasite would actually get out and start, you know, um, taking over other people's bodies. So right now it's in hibernation, it's dormant, so it's like one way to kind of put it down without causing more problems, right? Are they in shock? Do they see it all? Next one. They're all genoscopies? Yo, we're actually taking a lot of damage. The Bible. That's his code name. Destruction and regrowth, right? Isn't that the the Indian god or something? Buddhism? That's right. The devil of Okinawa too, I think. In the movie. Regrowth, that's right. The power of destruction and life in one. Because my sister's in it. Gotta protect the sister. I bet he feels like a fucking dummy for even saying, guys, go easy on, you know, the person in the suit. These are our girls, yeah? Yeah, they are. Give them some flight too. Like, what the fuck? So they, they all of them have to fucking keep running and do parkour and shit. And Miyuki's just like, ooh, I just fly. <laughs> Only Sama's doing his thing, yep. So, like, is there gonna be a separate steeple chase for the guys later? Why is it only girls? They're, surely they're, they're not doing this just so Onisama can flex and like show off and be cool in front of all the girls, right? There's gotta be like a separate guys event, right? It's like a gender thing of like, you know, girls race competition and a guys race competition, right? Flag. Okay. Sometimes VTubers do that shit too. Dude, they're actually getting hits on him. That's insane. Oh. Who? The girls. You know what? Maybe hot take, but uh, I don't know. I just don't have much of like a. I don't feel that kind of level of hype when Onisama does Onisama stuff when he's just taking out these random Genos dolls. Cause like, let's get serious, right? He just kind of just like doing like shit like this, and people, and then and then just go down. I I guess it's cool that like the military people are like super hype, like oh my god, who is this person? But like, I don't know. I feel like we need more opponents, more than just the dolls, or something else has to happen, right? It's there's got to be more to this, right? <laughs> Why can't we just demon write them? Oh, found a person who has not been paying attention. Because if we do that, what happens? The parasite, the, the soul will come out and it's going to take over a different person's body. Come on, man. That was in season two, man. That was the whole thing Lena was fucking up on. Lena was like super going, I'm just going to heavy metal burst them. But then if they do that, the parasite like comes out and then it'll like possess someone else. So then the whole thing was like, all right, how can we figure out how to like contain them? And then it was something to do with like ancient spiritual shit with Mizuki with their eyes and sealing with Onisama. And then Miyuki can also kind of seal them using like lunar magical cutis or some shit. I, I think something like that, right? I can't take this. Okay, so you recognize that this is the same kid from the Okinawa movie that took it out. Okay, but the Prime 4. Max spec units. You, you really think four extra fucking dolls is gonna do it? These four? Really? Steeple chase. <laughs> They've been doing this over and over. This is the second time. Every time, they like flex his gun. Why? Just to so like he won't use it? No way! <laughs> Oh, a barrier! 
They're even fucking programmed to do like these kind of poses together, bro. Give me a Ginyu Force pose. Pixie is basically Raphael for us, bro. AI just tells us. I didn't realize Pixie could do all this. We're actually getting pushed back, man. Maybe I wish you talking to Parasite Dolls too much. Man, we are kind of cheating though with uh, Pixie though, helping us like this. Now, the most obvious way of countering this is to have some kind of, I don't know, some kind of radar, radar wave so that we could like um, disconnect the, however they're communicating. If they can do that, then the teamwork is gone. Or just listen to the combo. Yeah, we're cheating. <laughs> that running animation was pretty funny because he was like running in one spot for like a second look. There it is! One down! So that is the remote activation? Is that it? Is that is, is that basically um, the gun is activated, but the demon right is being applied onto the blazer? That's why they're just being destroyed. Is that, is that it? Okay. Oh, finally use the gun. The actual gun. I mean, on a remote activation. Ooh. There it is. The best four done. The soundtrack the entire time felt like I was at a fucking rave. Pixie hard clutch there. Flag never said that you should not have said that. That means that they got like a secret other faction, right? Because so far if the top four is like their best, like, and he says shit like this, something else has to happen. Maybe for the girls event, it's actually just done. We're, we're good. Miyuki, fly. Fuck them hoes, fly. Okay. I thought it was actual bullet. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, are they gonna die? No, they will. <laughs> Yuki got lucky. Woo! Winner. But now the men's events. You know? I thought that like more shit would go down. Cause like this is only the girls' event, and I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. And yes, the parasite dolls. They were pretty strong. They were actually pretty strong. They're getting a lot of hits on Onisama. And we even needed Pixie to kind of like, quote unquote, cheat. But with all the hype that's been built over Steeplechase, surely this is not the extent of it, right? Nah, we should fucking take it back. We already did a cleanup, right? Who took the Prime 4 back? Yotaka? Chinese tea dude. Oh, oh, oh. Not master! Do we know this guy? I don't really remember anyone. His voice actor almost made me think of Ninja Dude, but I'm inviting you right into the realm of your dreams. Oh, Kuruba, 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 Kuruba. That's right. Last episode, they introduced Kuruba's dad, and he was in this like mafia like outfit. You're right, you're right. Kuruba head. Damn. ま、ちょっと見えない。そうそう。みんなのもの。ガード。バールド。剣は表面的に見れば残念な結果に終わったが。It's So their logic is Cause like what Kudo wants is less military people poaching young new talents so that the parasite dolls can be like stormtroopers and they can replace the need for humans to be involved in the military. And because Onisama struggled to beat the parasites, the people, the public are gonna think, wow, we can rely on the parasites. Really? I I feel like Onisama kinda clutched hard. I feel like if anything. We want more humans in the military and the parasite dolls are trash. 
I don't know. Maybe it's an exception. Alright. We're interrupting their dinner? You're under arrest! You're under arrest! Our gift. Such as? Oh, we're getting the truth out right now. Is he under like the truth of serum effects from Ninja? Ninja. Master? It's gotta be Master, right? Yotsuba. Okay, okay, okay. So this is used as a bargaining chip for what? Okay, so we just want to gaslight it on the hardliners. That's what Maya's goals were. Military doesn't want to use magicians anymore. Did she just make fun of her own hair's color? No magician will be ever driven. Wait, 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 what did she just say? If you wish, I'm even willing to stake this gray head on that. Is, 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 she, is she talking about herself right now? Okay, military won't force people to, you know, participate. Grandson. Minoru? Minoru has been pretty hyped up, but I don't think he's season 2 content. I think he's just being teased for a bit. That also goes for your grandson and for him. Who is him? Onisama? What's happened in those 10 years? Minoru? That's what exactly what Kudo wants for the military to stop, you know, recruiting, you know, using humans, magicians for military warfare and just use the parasites instead. That's what we want, right? That's the ending thing. Are, are we actually done steeplechip? No. Are we done steeplechase? Because this is the banquet hall dance that happens at the... Are you serious? We're... We're... Is it just me or... Do you think like this is extremely rushed and anticlimactic? Like I was waiting for the steeplechase to really like pop off. I, I, I was expecting only someone to do some crazy shit. They just fucking, they, they just set this shit up, and then like, there was no payoff. It's just like fighting random fucking parasites and like, it, the fights weren't even that exciting either. It's, I don't know. I'm not trying to be a hater right now, but like, let's call a spade a spade. Don't you feel like there was no payoff here? I, I feel like this is an extremely poor way of handling, I don't even know the source content, but it, it feels like, what the fuck just went, what the fuck just happened? Like, at the end of Season 1 tournament arc, they had this beautiful fucking tournament with the most crazy ending for Tatsuya vs. Crimson Prince. And then they had a banquet dance, and Miyuki danced with, you know, Onisama at the fountain. And it was such a, it was such a, it was such a great moment. But this is like... I don't feel the love. I don't feel the love put into the series right now. I don't think it's me hating. I just feel like the studio that's doing this is just doing such a poor job of adapting this right now. George is whatever, but Ichijo just got skipped entirely. When he just went to Crimson Prince and was like, yo, do your shit with the Ten Clan family, and that was it. And then it's like, what, what, what? Post credit scene. Target was Mukata. Target was Kosa! More He's trying to do this before they get here. Why? Because this is the part where we're trying to get the hardliners, right? Blame the blame on hardliners. Well, okay. 
Okay, okay. So we have. I'm not sure if the dog, you know, the dog resembling monster is that, but okay, the Yotsuba embodiment of the Yotsuba sins. They're using something they shouldn't be using. This is not Tatsuya right now, because the Tatsuya was just mentioned. Unless it is Oni Sama under disguise, you know, acting as a weapon right now. Is it? It's the. Im I thought they were talking about some sort of different type of like secrets they, were, they had, but okay. <laughs> I thought they were talking about something else. It got me kind of excited. That there's a different monster other than Onisama. <clears throat> I see. Basically, he's saying like we shouldn't wait for Onisama to arrive because that is like the greatest sin. It shouldn't even be let outside. We need to deal with ourselves. How did Yotsuba make Tatsuya? That's a bit of spoilers, my man. Okinawa okay, movie kind of explains, though. Yotsuba Barking Celestial Hound, that's what the dog noise was. His arm's actually gone? Kuruba dead, arm gone. Did he just port away? Should have waited, bro. Bro should have fucking waited. Bro, I mean, Oni Sama was already here and he lost a fucking arm for that? Right, we can regrowth. Mr. Kuruba is so honorable and is so principled that he's not willing to take regrowth as healing because, again, this is like the greatest sin of Yotsuba and we don't want to really associate with that. That's the idea, right? But fuck you. Fuck your pride. Here's your arm back. <laughs> And he just felt the pain of the fucking arm, too. Remember, anytime Onisama heals, it, like, hurts you, too. Something new that Mr. Chinese tea guy was doing. And this sets up the next stage after Parasites. And that's today's episode. And, like, I should be so happy right now. I should be so excited. I should be sad that, like, you know, the steeplechase arc is, like, already over. And it's like, no, but... I don't know. I feel like this anime has no love poured into it. I don't get the same vibes at all as like watching obviously a different studio, right? And there's a whole studio change and they're probably focusing on different projects. Therefore, Mahoka kind of feels like a really rushed product right now. But goddamn, bro. This is a disappointment. I'm not even trying to hate on it. If you go back to look at my like season one reactions, you can see the amount of love I had for the series. But like ever since season two and now beyond, it's just... I don't know. Like... They set up this whole steeplechase arc event for the fucking Parasite dolls to go berserk and Onisama to save the day, and he kind of did do it. But the fights were so lackluster. They're fighting a random as fucking Parasite dolls, and I get it, that's the limitation of the opponents that we had. But not at a single point did I actually feel like we were in danger or like something cool was gonna happen. When I watched the tournament arc before, it was a totally separate vibe. The outcome of Onisama and the Crimson Prince was so fucking peak, and then we concluded it with the banquet hall dance, and it was like a beautiful ending to the best arc ever. And this is like... Shit. I mean, you can hire Lisa and like, get us a great anime opening and you can get us a fucking banger ending too, but like... Holy shit. I feel like Mahoka's being done so dirty right now. It's not even like, the light novel's fault either. It's not even the source material's fault. This is just a studio that is not giving the amount of love and appreciation that this series deserves in order to you know prioritize different projects and... This is kind of the, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of the outcome of capitalism at the end of the day. When all you're trying to do is maximize the bottom line by pumping out as many cheap fucking, you know, um, animes as possible and focusing on certain things and then reducing the focus in others. And, and Mahoka just happened to be kind of caught in the middle of the crosshairs, man. But I guess people Chase is done and the military stuff with Kudo stuff that was kind of handled. And now we move towards a new arc with... Not sure what they're doing, some kind of compound form magic. It's looking like the next stage is the Mr. Chinese Tea Guy. I will still call him that because of the pronunciation of his name is different from the way it's spelled. And I don't know. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel with the anime so far. Because I feel like, again, 
I love Mahoka for what it was before, but this just ain't it anymore, man. And it's just kind of sad of what this anime has turned into.